All right, have a look at this, guys. We've got a 150 Prado here. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it's got a k and filter in it. And it's been, we've done over 4,000 k's on this trip. I've, uh, we've done over 4,000, haven't we? Yes, easy. Yeah, four and a half or something probably, yeah. And you've got a k and filter in there. Correct. And with a snorkel, just so everybody knows. And there's a lot of talk, so a lot of people want to know about whether uh, K&N's work or not. And I suppose before I had the YouTube channel is where I did a lot of testing using K&N's and I actually got in behind people. Literally, you remember following Albie around Tassie, like a rally driving, whatever, and we were right in his dust. And that was with a K&N that I'd cleaned before the trip. And when we got home, I reckon it was about, I don't know, five or eight mil thick with dirt. And there was nothing on the clean side, so... Although the um, k and filter is safe for off-road use only, that's where I say use caution because they do say that. Um, I did oil it heavily, but I found it definitely clean on this side. So you oil yours fairly heavily as well? Yes. All right, let's have a look after this. And normally you put a paper filter in, don't you, for dusty yes, trips? Yes, normally do. So this is a bit of, and did I you plan, well, did you kind of go, I can't be bothered, or you went, I'll try it and see what happens, or well, how well, come a, you? A bit of try and let's see how it happens. Okay, so let's have a look. So let's have a look how dirty it is on the dirty side, right? So, so was that clean before we left, or was yes, it already? Yes, no, it was clean. No, it was spotlessly clean, so Correct. you can see dust in there. Now, is your one-way valve, that duckbill thing underneath down there, is that open to flow to no, let the dust? No, it's not. It's blocked. Okay, so you haven't... But, it? but I emptied it before this trip. Okay, so in there will be full of dust. It works better if it flows and a lot of that dust can separate. Let's have a closer look at the amount of... That's nowhere near as bad as the one that I ran across Tassie for about two weeks, and really, it was caked thick, and like, I think it was even more heavily oiled than that, so... It's definitely been in dust though, right? So if this doesn't work, when we pop that off, we're going to see a lot of dust behind it. Now, was that clean before? It was. It was. So there's definitely, on this one, there's definitely some dust getting past. I wouldn't say it's terrible and that's the end of the world or anything like that, but it's not great. It's not what I saw when I did it with my K&N. Yeah, I cleaned it all before we went. So that was all clean. There's your math sensor there. Yep. You can clean the mm. math sensor as well. So that was all clean. Okay. Hmm. It's definitely uh, dust. definitely dust, isn't it? I would say that's not. But you really get it dripping with oil, don't you? You can see I the do. oil there. Yes. To the oh. point that it drips into the into there. That's really? why that that dust is accumulated in the bottom. Right. Because it's the oil that's stuck in there. Really? Is that silicon up those holes though? Correct. I think it is. Yeah. Yep. So I'll leave mine open. But anyway, that's another video. That's another story. Each to their own. Um. Okay, so you're looking at that. Do you mind bringing it back? Just pop it up the dirty side. Um, it's got a lot on it, but it doesn't look... Mine looks a lot wetter and oilier and thick. Um, but you can see at this side here, there's a lot... There's definitely picking up a lot of dust. So it's doing its job. And I don't know that uh, a paper air filter would have any different results, you know? Usually when you use the paper one, do you see a little bit of dust on it once you oh, get really... Yeah, of course you do, yeah. Okay, so have you, with the paper <coughs> one, with it, can you think of a comparable trip where you've done about this sort of case? Oh, when we went to Talbotville and we did the um, um, uh, Blu-ray track and then the Pinnacles and yeah, all the that, around that one with the paper, when I got home, it was it was dusty at the back as well. Yeah, better or worse than this or about no, the same? No, I think it was actually better. I think that's actually... That, this sorry, is clean. I think this is better than what the other one was. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, that's my experience. But I'm surprised, personally. I'm surprised. I'm sure some other people watching are going to go, yeah, you know, they, they no, don't it's, work, they The majority of it's clean. It's just where there's thin, yeah, no, it it thins where it's totally a, agree. Lot, a lot of uh, mm -hmm. flow past. Yep. Most of the mess, what you can see at the bottom there, that's outside the air filter. Up here is actually really clean, where sometimes, you know, we service a lot of vehicles, change a lot, of, and there's dust up there a lot of the time. So that is very good. Um, once a filter becomes blocked, it's gonna, the engine's gonna pull the air it needs one way or the other. So you're gonna get some of the dust that's in that paper element pull through. Um, so that's actually not too bad, like I said at the start. A uh, bit surprising there's anything there, because I remember mine, that particular trip, was absolutely spotless. But there you go, guys. Anyway, that's a, you got to see what it looks like. Um, Real life. That's it. Pretty dirty. It'll be interesting to see how much better it would be. Because on mine, the reason with a snorkel... Okay, so you've had your snorkel head um, forwards, forwards, forwards this time. Yes. 
Right. Do you normally do that or do you go backwards? From I've tried backwards and I've tried forward and the only difference I find is the fuel economy slightly down when it's backwards. Really? Okay. Yes, it's fractional, it's not, not a lot. Uh, but I do get a lot more bugs when it's forward. Mm. Yeah, right. That's it. So the time we did the R&D with doing this, obviously I left my one-way valve under it. Because this, this thing here, guys, see how it's thick? See it's um, from, that's the inner and that's the outer. That's about uh, 12 mil across there. Right, 12, 13 mil, and that separates the dirt and dust. And if it can flow out and fall out the hole, I think it works more effectively. And uh, the holes in the bottom of the airbox being blocked up, I don't think any amount of water is going to get in there fast enough to cause any problems. It's probably a bit more beneficial by the small amount of water that goes into the snorkel up there needs to either separate and come out that hole there, or if it makes it into the airbox, it needs to be able to drain out. Otherwise, you know, a lot of rain is probably going to fill up so and get more in there than. River crossing at the end of the day is quite a lot higher than the bottom of the airbox. Um, so, yeah, when we did it, we had the snorkel head forwards, but we had these holes clear. It was putrid in there. It was a lot oilier. There was a lot more mess in there. I reckon it was like three or four mil thick in there. So I really, you know, let's see if we can see much oil on the map sensor in there. That'll be interesting. Because, you know, people go on about, oh, too much oil, and it just... Poured out. Well... Maybe, I don't know, I'm just I'm just happy to look at it from here. That's a pretty good view, isn't it? I reckon everyone's gonna be happy with that. That's as good as that. I don't see that oily. Do you see oil on that? No. Exactly. So, I'm thinking more oil, to be quite honest, more oil. Like, what I would do with that, if I was on a trip, I'd pull it out and I'd turn it around the dirty side. I'd spray more oil on the uh, on the dirty side to build it, yeah, on that side, to build it up rather than clean it. That's what they actually say, not to clean it too often. Well, they actually work better when they get dirtier, they still breathe. Wouldn't it be better if you put it on the clean side and let it drip, drip through and take, well, the, take, I, I take put the dust it on, off with it? Well, I don't know. Uh, that would make sense, but I don't know how much actually soaks or drips through. I've always sprayed it on, always sprayed it on the dirty side, so. Um, um, the other testing, what we've found is having the snorkel head backwards definitely less dust in particular the bigger stuff obviously all the bigger stuff is going to go straight in all the leaves and bigger debris if you're hitting branches and stuff like that it's definitely going to suck it straight in because you know you get all that all the branches you know so definitely the bigger stuff which isn't really what blocks your filter it just makes it look blocked um, but yeah that's certainly not oil in there that looks good which sort of leads me to believe not enough not enough oil, in my opinion. Do you want to open up yours too, then? I've got it open. Right okay, here, yeah. okay. Let's go and come over. Look over this one here. You got another one KD. Same trip, same kilometres. Now you got a paper filter in there. All right. This is a good comparison. This is a good comparison. Okay. Let's just get it up a little bit more and have a look. Did you happen to clean the inside of this box? No. Yeah, but you haven't cleaned it any time like directly before the trip or anything like that. So look at the dust on that, guys. There's a heap of dust on that. I, I cleaned this MAF sensor. Do you remember the last time I cleaned it? It wasn't that one there, was it? 10,000. 10,000 Ks ago. And look at the dust on that, guys. You're looking at it. There's a paper filter right there. Okay, you can see it's got the pink dot on it. So that's probably a genuine filter. Is that right? Yeah, because I probably put it in there. Okay. Look at the dust there, right? Plenty of dust. So you can compare the pair if you hung around till the end. See, some people didn't. You can see there's dust in there. You can see the dust down the bottom. Usually when I put the filters in, I clean all that. So this clean spot here, is that where you just wipe it there with your hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah all that, yeah, that's it. So all that clean spot there is where it's been freshly touched. You, can you please hold that there for me? And so we put the grease, we talk about the grease on the seal. Just carefully lift this out. Just to show you what's in there, right? Hard to tell what's going on. A lot less dust down in the bottom there. Do you want me to tell you why that is, guys? Are you wondering why? Because look, no snorkel. Don't tell anyone, no snorkel. Everything stays cleaner with no snorkel, right? Everybody thinks you're getting it up out of the dust. You know, no, you're getting it up into the dust. If you, the other part of this formula, you can close it up now if you like. The other part of the formula is no bull bar. Because when you've got no bull bar, no bull bar. No bull bar, right? Up inside, obviously at the driver's side, up inside behind this plastic liner, 
stays really clean, and that's where it's sucking the air from. Right, so each to their own on bull bars and snorkels, but understand that, uh, yeah, air filters stay cleaner without snorkels. With the one-way valve functioning, um, if you've got a snorkel with the head backwards, they do stay cleaner. Uh, if you look on the 200 series GX, it comes with a snorkel standard and the holes are on the back of the snorkel head. So there's a reason for that. That's what the engineers came up with. So there's not a big deal about facing backwards. Some people are going to put the comments there saying it's all wrong and monkey see, monkey do, like another time. But monkey see, Toyota do, with Toyota engineering on a 200 series GX standard snorkel and monkey do. And there's other engineers that have said having it backwards creates a low pressure allowing it to suck the air in as it needs to much more easily than having it forced and causing turbulence and stuff. Not that it's really forcing much anyway, but turbulence, yeah. Anyway, guys, real life experiences. We're down here at uh, Will Kenya, and uh, that's a butter bing, butter boom. Thanks for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed the information, and please give us the thumbs up if you did. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn the bell on. We've got more information coming your way soon. See ya.